Good morning and welcome to Sunday. Welcome to my shave den. <laughs> Thank you, Mrs. H. How are you doing? Um, weekend is here and time for a lovely shave. Um, using a couple of um, products I've not used for a while and a razor I've not used for a while. Uh, and the brush I've not used for a while. So a nice relaxing shave. I've got a couple of things I want to show you during the shave as well. Um, not really shave related, but um, well, one isn't, and the other thing is. But uh, so everything's ready. Sink is full. Are you in good health? That's the thing. Is your health full? I hope so. And if you're working this weekend, many thanks. It's a bank holiday uh, tomorrow in the UK. Many people are working. Um, I'm luckily not working, so it's a day off. But that does mean the rest of the week will be manically busy because <laughs> you're trying to fit sort of uh, six days work into five or whatever. So um, anyway, enough about that. Shaving, Paul. Right, oh, soap of choice is going to be Soap Commander Courage. And I use this for a while. Huge thing. Really. Um, what is this? A... Well, it doesn't say the size, does it? 170 grams, 6 ounces. You can see where I've taken off the thing there. Had this a while. Gorgeous scent. Absolutely stunning. And I've, I'm using the fine porcelain bowl today and I've put some in the bottom and spread it out. I find um, it creates the lather quicker and it's sort of more even for the brush in my head. May not be the case but it seems to work. And soaking, talking of brushes, in this thing. I just have this little glass thing, uh, pot. Is this, this is a grey dog brush made for me. A beautiful sort of two wood uh, intergroved handle. Beautiful, isn't it? You may have seen it before. It's a mixed knot. This is a boar and badger. So we're doing a boar and badger today. Mixed knot is a lovely brush. That's been so, just put it back for a minute. Well, I show you the razor. Now this one, Donald Navy Goat, thank you Don, nice to see you in the comments and uh, you're well and having good shaves yourself so many thanks, Don was the one that sent me the collection of vintage razors, this being one of them um, many years ago and I look after them and really enjoy them and appreciate them so thank you very much, this is the Gillette Super Speed, the flare tip, the blue uh, there was colours wasn't there, black tip, there's a silver tip um, blue, there's red. Red is the most aggressive out of them all, but I don't find any of them aggressive, as in aggressive, but um, you know, there, there is differences between them, and this is a milder version. Um, blue, twist to open, non adjustable, and inside we've got a Wilkinson sword used once, so we'll be using that. There is overhang in this to be aware of, another short handle with a, a sort of lined. Uh, knurling on the handle. You can see the age of it, nothing. It's as it is, but it works well. So we'll start creating this lather and see how we get on. We may have to add water to this because the the boar and badger do use a bit more water than the synthetic. Well they don't hold I suppose they See, there we go, so dip in there. Yes, yeah, so how's it going? Hope you've had a good week and good shaves, of course. Always glad of the weekend. I've got a nice array of real ales, hobgoblin, I've got some ciders, scrumpy jack, I've got some uh, cloudy lemon cider. That's lovely, that trouble with that stuff is like drinking pop. <laughs> or soda, whatever you call it. See, so no messing. Very quick to lather up. Good soap, this. And that'll do us beautiful. There we go, I'll that there for a minute. We'll wet the face and we'll get going. Usually about three. No uniform today. What's this here? No uniform today. <laughs> no blood and blade. 
I think that's in the wash, isn't it? Yeah. In the laundry. Right, lather up. Beautiful, look at that, how it splays. Mmm. When I first used this brush, being, with it being a badger and ball, and I'd been using lots of synthetics then as well, so you tend to get used to the softer, and you you can go back to a ball and you think, wow, it's a bit scratchy this, but it's not, it's absolutely stunning, soft. You can tell, obviously, it's not a synthetic, but it's uh, very, very comfortable. Soap Commander Courage. Beautiful. I'll probably be using another brush, um, maybe Wednesday or the Sunday week today, because I've been sent some three brushes uh, from a company. They've sent me some before once, I think, or twice, but they never said they were sending them. As far as I know, I've had no contact, so they must have just sent them out. And so we'll try them out soon. Have you got anything new to try? And we'll just heat, heat the Gillette. Oh, this is, um, by the way, the age of this razor. It's a D1, so it's a 1958. Um, first quarter, isn't it? Is it D? Yeah, D1, first quarter of uh, 1958. So here we go. This could talk some stories, I tell you. First pass. Wilkinson's. Oh, okay, nice, lovely. Wilkinson sword. Second use. Wow, the slickness on that. But sometimes you can get a. The razor will feel slicker if it's a mild razor because obviously it's not as. Uh, when it's an aggressive one, it's a quite a grippy shave. You know, you can feel it, you can hear it. But this is. It's sliding, but it's cutting. It's beautiful. What's the shave of the day? Have you have one? This is lovely. The scent is nice. It's um It's what what would you say the scent is? Oh it's just it's a it's um difficult to describe it really sort of a combination. I'm not sure there's any citrus notes in that but uh it could be, but it's a very sort of musk, um, cologne fresh, fragrant scent, very slick, very pleasing to the nose, not overpowering, but uh, very nice. And Grey Dog, if you're watching, I hope you're keeping well. What you'll find with, well, what I find with badger and ball brushes after using synthetics regularly, synthetic gathers, creates beautifully, but also sort of gives the soap back to the face nicely. These have a tendency to hog it. <laughs> so you have to sort of, you know, make, make sure you take it out because otherwise it'll, it'll sort of, uh, Try and keep the soap to itself. <laughs> so you have to encourage the brush that it's good manners to share. Share with you. Very nice. So across the growth, short handle, very nice. Quite a mild shaver for me. Just watch that overhang. Under the nose. Very nice. 
shave of the day. It feels very sort of, you know when it's, it feels warm, humid, um, sort of, it's very, very, well as I film this now, just before I come in, uh, cloudy, humid, and it's as if you're going to have a storm or th rain, you know, torrential rain type thing. So I'm not sure if it's going to do that. But I think we've seen the last of the frosts now, which is danger over for the things we're growing, hopefully. But um, you never know, sometimes they can just appear, give you the one off as a little surprise. That's a lovely razor, very comfortable. And also in the comments, oh, I think a video or two back, I mentioned the the dice system I use to keep track of how many blades have been used how many times. So I'll show you that. Uh, I'll show you that now. So there's my dice system. It's uh, very simple. Six dice, one to six on each one. Uh, there's only six dice there. You can see there's nothing under number six there on the right. Um, but there is under five, four, three, two and one. And usually the one to three get quite um, a few blades. So when I've used a blade once, it goes under this pile. And there can be, you know, could be four or five blades under that. Uh, when I've used it twice, it goes under that one and it goes on and on gets moved over and it gives me an idea then I know under each dice how many times it's been used and um, as I say several brands can be under there so that's how I keep uh, track of how many times I've used a blade. So as you can see there that was uh, six dice number six hardly gets used but it, sometimes it does um, but uh, one to five get well one to three very regular and there can be several, as I say, blades under that, and then four to five, one or two under that. And it just gives me an idea how many times I've used it. And you know, and they are used regularly, so there's no um there's no worry about leaving a blade for months and months and it goes rusty or anything like that. Because if uh, they do say well they used to say years ago, if you were leaving a blade sure why you would but if you were leaving it for a long long time in a bathroom especially where it's, it gets steamy and damp and moisture can um, stay on the blade or contact the blade which could turn it rusty some people used to have a little sort of thing of oil you know like um, you could have mineral oil or cooking oil even olive oil and leave the blade in that until you were going to use it next and thoroughly rinse it Against the growth, here we go. Mind of useless information, me, you know. <laughs> so welcome to any uh, new viewers, uh, new subscribers. If you've subscribed, thank you so much. Uh, it does mean a lot. Or if you view and you're not a subscriber, thank you so much. It means a lot, your time. Uh, as I say, it's warm in here. I try to get back to the comments. Um, I'll either leave a, leave a heart on it or um, Sunday morning is a good, usually a good time where I can sort of keep up with the comments, answer them, answer most of them for a certain time anyway. And So, oh, thank you for the comments, I really appreciate them. Here 
here. This is absolutely stunning. Good soap. Nice scent. As I say, if you don't like a well, to my nose, it's not strong. Uh, you know, you've got to be careful saying it's not a strong soap or scent. Because you might have a sort of um, very sensitive nose and say, oh, that's strong. Then. <laughs> Your mileage may vary, is the saying, I think. Just getting them corners. Very nice. Right, meal of, meal of the day for me. Uh, I've got some Jersey Royal potatoes, which will be steamed. Um, I've got some nice pork shoulder steaks which have had nice marbling in them. So they'll be seasoned with salt and pepper. Uh, so I may put a coating on them actually. Um, I sometimes put some of my sort of, not too hot, nothing hot, but something spicy, like a, a mixed spice. Sometimes I say how it goes uh, on top and then just lightly and then roast them slowly. Uh, Jersey royal potatoes steamed. I've got some, um, tender stem broccoli which will be steamed and what else have I got oh some fine green beans which will be steamed and lashentos of gravy and anybody new again saying what's lashentos it's just a little saying like a lots of lots of gravy plenty of gravy on that note three two one pick up time baby You got it. <laughs> Phone in sick. Won't be in today. Why not? I don't mean neck in. Right. While we're here, I'm going to show you something non shaving related. Uh, or is it? The first one was sent to me. If you've watched my other channel, you've seen this. From Maine in the United States. A nice straight razor. Isn't that beautiful? Or not. <laughs> Isn't that fantastic? It's a bottle opener, not a plate. So you <laughs> beautiful. But um, bottle opener. Isn't that fantastic? So it combines both of my passions: beer, <laughs> shaving, and uh, absolutely stunning. So it's used on my other channel. This to open the beers when I have bottles of beer. So I, I should be using it. Uh, uh, well, I've used it last night. So I'll probably use it into the week as well with other stuff I've got with it being bank holiday so that was by uh, Derek and Laurie so thank you if you're watching absolutely stunning <laughs> and I've been sent these by another couple and this is Don't Mess with Texas bottle opener and it's got a magnet on it so you can keep it on the fridge or something like that and Louisiana State University isn't it this is magnet as well uh, bottle opener so I got some lovely things from the States and I enjoy using them. We've got a bad neck, so let's get going. Pick up time, baby. This is absolutely. I love that sound. Do you know what I had on, uh, when was I having? Friday, um, for my sort of evening meal. I had some haddock fish in batter. You put it in the oven. I wasn't sure if I'd like it or not. And some potato croquettes, which is sort of a breadcrumbed coating, like a shell, with some soft, like mashed potato inside. God, it was <laughs> Bit of a treat, oh, I enjoyed it. It was lovely to think it was sort of a shop bought fish and you know.
I always talk about food. <laughs> A lot of my passions, food, creating it, eating it, especially spicy food, beer, buying it, drinking it, and um, shaving. Buying it and trying it. <laughs> and sometimes the scent. That is lovely. Oh, just a touch. That is lovely. There we go. Cold water rinse. I think I'll go with a menthol, homemade menthol uh, witch hazel today. And not much left of that after. That'll do. This is good stuff. Oh, that's nice. Cooling, refreshing. And then I'm going to go with this, I love this. Floyd, the genuine aftershave. Gorgeous stuff. That's it, you get into it. I knew it would. Good match. For me, of course. Oh, I'm Todd, if you're watching, I have seen your comments on both channels. Um, hope you're okay, keeping well. I met Todd, came over to, uh, on holiday, on, on uh, vacation over here. And then, right, to put the uh, protection back, we're going to use the Sub Commander Courage. This is their aftershave balm. Which is lovely. A little dabble do here. Oh. That's good grief, I've seen a ghost a bit. <laughs> Put a bit too much on. All that means is you've got to work it in more. But it will, even if you left it, it would sort of disappear. Too much is better than too little. Always forecast uh, better weather this next week, so hopefully. Everything's growing nicely so far, slowly but nicely. Um, if you're growing anything, I hope it's doing well. And that's it, I'll leave you to it. If I've gone on, I apologise. Uh, time does go quickly for me because I talk a lot of sh rubbish. <laughs> anyway, use the Gillette. Super speed, the blue tip. Um, as I say, it's a mild, this is red and all that, so there's different colours red. Red is the most aggressive out of, out of them, and this is less aggressive. Um, I'm not sure the range, how we go, it might be silver, um, blue. Is it black and red? Or something like that, I can't remember the, the, the range, but uh, this is not the mildest and is not the. Um, most aggressive, I don't think it's in the, I think it's sort of in the middle, but it's, um, none of them are aggressive to me, but there is slight differences in them. Very nice razor. Wilkinson sword blade used, uh, that's its second use, so that'll go under the number two dice now, when it's cleaned. We've used the grey dog, I love this wood, uh, two, um, two, two band. <laughs> Mix not boar and badger or badger and boar and it's lovely and soft it works well um always does really nice 
Um, soap Commander, the Courage Shaving Soap. Absolutely stunning stuff. Easy to lather, as you can see. Uh, Welsh Water to rinse. We've done homemade mentholated witch hazel. Uh, Floyd, the genuine aftershave. And Soap Commander's Courage Aftershave Balm. Absolutely stunning for a Sunday. Um, that's it. So I'll leave you to it. Sorry to keep you. Have a great day. Look after yourselves. And good shaves if you have any. Um, if you're over in this country, enjoy the bank holiday. If you're working, as I say, thanks very much. Take care of yourselves. And I'll see you on Wednesday for the midweek shave. All the best. And bye-bye.